What's up, Anderfinex? Tech Fanatic 9 here from ultimatedroid.blogspot.com. With me, have the Galaxy S3, T Mobile, and be showing you how to get free Wi Fi tethering slash hotspot on your Galaxy S3 T Mobile phone. Now, you must be rooted, so if you're not rooted, check that video right there on how to root your Galaxy S3 phone, and that'll work for any type of Galaxy S3, the guide. But this video is only for the T Mobile version. You can try it on an AT&T or anything, but take your chances. This has been confirmed and working for the T Mobile, and I have not been charged. I tried it personally for at least a couple days, and I still I still use it because um, my 4G is usually faster than my home internet, which is really weird. Because <laughs> T Mobile isn't really isn't real 4G; it's fake 4G. But anyway, it's called uh, Wi-Fi Tether. So let's just open up in the Play Store, and it's a free app as well. So Wi-Fi Tether. There we go, Wi-Fi Tether. And as always, I'll have a link in the description below on the app so you know what it looks like. So there's Wi-Fi Tether. I'm just going to open it up. It's free like I told you earlier. And before you start um, actually turning it on, we're going to have to go into Settings and Change the Device Profile. Now change the device profile to Generic ICS slash JB Jelly Bean uh, WLAN 0. So here you go. You get a better look at that. So make sure it's... Uh, just on that, and also you can change your SSD, which is your um name. So I'll change mine to TechFnac9. Alright, so now whenever you search it on your computer or other device, it'll show up as uh, that name, TechFnac9 for mine. You can also um, enable security so you can put a password on. I never put a password on, so um, let's start it up. So let's press, uh, just, it's starting it up. Give it a few seconds, and when it started up, uh, we'll test out with my computer. And there you can see you must have root access. Alright, give it a few seconds. Okay, it started up. As you can see, everything's at zero. Still, nothing's been used. So, I'll uh, turn on my computer, and we'll get started. Okay, right there, as you can see, it says TechFnac9. And on my phone, you can still see that it's still turned on. So let's try it out. So I'm going to connect to it right away. So let's go connect. Connect to TechFnac 9. That is my um, internet data. Let's wait until it connects. Mm -hmm. Give it a few seconds. And uh, my phone did vibrate so it knows when it connected to a uh, computer or anything, other device. So let's go to ultimatejoy.blogspot.com, uh, my website. And there you go. It's going to be loading up. And there you go. Let's uh, click on a tab, make sure everything's working, and everything is working flawlessly. We can even, let's go to uh, google.com, and it should be loading. And there you go. That's how you get free Wi-Fi tethering. You will not get charged by T-Mobile. It works flawlessly. Um, but please do take your chances, and please check your monthly bill so they don't find out. But I've been using it for at least a month, and it's working fine. Uh, no problems at all. Um, always been working. Uh, it always detects it and everything. Never lose connection. Great app for uh, using on uh, getting free Wi-Fi tether on your Galaxy S3. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't uh, to help support me and for more uh, tutorials like these and other great RAM reviews, uh, tips, tricks, and hacks for your Galaxy S3 and many other Android devices. And give me a big old thumbs up right there. But if you're on YouTube, uh, give that big old like button for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Yeah.